All right, hey everybody. Welcome to a Clickstaff unboxing of the Avengers 60th Marvel Hero Click set. Um, so if you watched our previous video, it was an unboxing on the brick. We did some sealed advice and this is video two. Uh, we're gonna take a look at a review of the Play at Home kit and the Dyson token sets. Um, so for me, they've really been knocking the Dyson token sets out of the park. Um, I think these dice are really cool ones. Right. With the black uh, dice and the red and the logoing. Right, so the first big test. So, so we've got on the sixes, they've got the of set symbol, the A60th. So, first big test for any new dice and see how they do. Pretty good. That's an 11. So that is pretty dang good, in my opinion. We'll see if it backs it up. Mm. Oh, four. Mm. Ooh, oh no. That's better. All right, so um, come falling over with us. Uh, so let's take a look at the tokens real quick. Um, so we like this closed up view, but that also means I can knock over my uh, mount. So, oh wow. So we've got the Black Widow token that comes with the Red Hulk pog. That comes with the um, General Thunderbolt Ross, Ross. legacy card. Which is in the Hulk play at home kit here. Right, which we're going to see here in a moment. And then Hulk has the tippy toe pog, which is on the Squirrel Girl legacy card. The Iron Man, oh, this is the thematic. The Iron Man token has the War Machine pog that it's Black Skull, okay. right? Black Skull makes. And then we've got the. Thor, which has the zombie pog that the Morgan Le Fay we pulled in our brick makes. Uh, and then for some reason, we get a, uh, a cap with a second War Machine pog. And on Black Panther, we have the zombie pog, another zombie pog. So, super cool dice and token set. Um, so the big thing I want to talk about, and we talked a little bit about this on the last podcast that we had Clay on, was why you need to buy all three Play at Home kits. Mm -hmm. So each Play at Home kit comes with the a special terrain marker. It's an effect terrain marker. Um... So this is the, first of all, this is the piece that I was trying to explain on the podcast that has the one square of blocking and then the L-shape elevated. So if somebody destroys the blocking, this whole piece tips over to its debris side. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to be careful being up on this elevated because yeah. you could take the, could fall uh, the, knock, the fall damage, knockback damage. Um, so each one of these Play at Home kits comes with the this one comes with the Iron Man comes with the pool of lava with a special attack there. So it starts dealing penetrating damage, which this is super cool. So two, two super cool pieces with Iron Man of terrain um, that I think are really good considerations for a lot of teams. Um, now the Iron Man comes with the Council of Red Chambers outdoor. Uh, these 16 by 16 maps, they're really coming into their own. I think um, we've... Got them, they started making them officially since Spider-Man, right? That's this right. is our second set with them. That's right. And um, now the other side of all of these maps, um, I believe is the Avengers Tower in all three, but the Red Room map, uh, Council of Red Chambers, I should say, is a really great map. Um, and then the Iron Man Play at Home Kit comes with the Iron Doom. Um, Jason, what do you think about these terrain markers? These terrain markers are really nice. I like the uh, pool of lava. Uh, the, 
elevated with the blocking is interesting. It's kind of cool to hide behind, but yeah, you are right. It could, uh, you gotta be careful. Make sure you're not gonna get uh, get that broken. The, the pull lock is really cool. I like the yeah. effect. It's really good. And then for those that haven't seen the Superior Iron Man the figure that it comes with, um, some neat possibilities with this figure. And if you didn't know that the Council of Red Chambers does play into the multiversal Masters of Evil storyline. It all does. From the comics, yeah. The, the Council of Red is uh, the Mephistos of the Multiverse. So. Oh, so kind of like the Council of Reeds. Yeah. Uh, parallel to the Council of Kings. Yeah. That's interesting. Which is why it kind of has, uh, you know, the red demonic kind of uh, tinge to it there. Right. Uh, brimstone, perhaps, if you want to call it. The, yeah, the brimstone-ish kind of color. Yeah. yeah. And it's block, so. So let's take a look at the Hulk kit and the few reasons that we think you should buy the Hulk kit. Um, so first of all, um, they, the map that it comes with is misspelled. It's uh, spelled Wakanda. Mm -hmm. And for those that remember, this is a joke. The, a, the Avengers Defender War said this is a shrunk down, reprinted version of Wakanda from ADW, but um, all of those maps were spelled Wakakanda. Yeah. And um, it's good that they corrected their spelling mistake from Avengers <laughs> Defenders War, but it feels like it could have been a uh, <laughs> nice nostalgic nod to that uh, yeah. misspelling. Uh, so but this map it. here, uh, very playable. Um, and we've actually, as soon as it was revealed that this was the map, we've been practicing on our... Uh, on a folded down version of that map uh, from the original version until I got this one in hand. Um, so, and then again, on the other side of the map is the um, Avengers Tower outdoor map. Um, so, the cool piece of him, uh, terrain that comes with this kit, or the effect terrain, I should say, um, and it's important to note that the effect terrain is unique. Um, so it's the heart-shaped herb to go along with the Wakanda map theme. And it has effect characters adjacent to or occupying this terrain have power, heal, one click. So zero points, just include on your build. And you can heal one click. Yeah, I don't know um, if anybody remembers years ago we had an object, I think it's the Alaho line. I think it was from around Secret Invasion time. It was from the Planet Hulk storyline. Oh, yeah. And it allowed you to feel kind of a throwback also to that. very yeah. similar to the feel of this, yeah. Now, so we had the blocking elevated combo in the Iron Man kit, and the Hulk kit includes this one, two, three, four. I'm counting that out, right? Correct, right? So there would be, these things don't have grids on them, which makes it a little bit, so one, no, two, no, it's three by three. Three, okay. three by three, because this one's two by two. Yeah. So a three by three square of uh, elevated, and this is a whole, this is like a whole, I don't know, like, it's a whole vibe, right? Like this can completely change a map by adding, because it's all just plus one elevation. So you can add a, third, fourth, mm -hmm. fifth level to some maps yeah. and really mess around with line of fire on maps. Um, so I really like this a lot. What do you think about the terrain options from this kit, Jason? Yeah, I love the vine or the bush, I should say. And just being able to heal a click on by sitting on this is really cool. And we didn't have two by two elevated before. We had two by two blocking, I think, back in Spider-Man. Right. Or this is three by three. Yeah, so that we have three by three all day now. So yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the, the way it could change a map could just really change the game. So yeah, right. I really yeah. dig it. Because sixteen. Oh no, gosh, this is going to be math. Sixteen divided by three. That's a six, right? Because five threes are fifteen. Mm -hmm. No, it's a little bit less. It was somewhere in between. Like you're changing a little over a fifth of one side of the map. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Don't correct me on. Don't hold me to that math, but. A three by three on a sixteen by sixteen map, you're changing somewhere around a, a, 
a fifth of the math. I think that's right because it would be. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. My math. I shouldn't even went down the math hole there, but it's a lot of the math to change is the point. Um, and then that Red Hulk Pog that we saw a few minutes ago. Uh, we got the General Thunderbolt Ross legacy card that it comes with. Um, and then the Hulk. Yeah, I played Hulk, Hulk would figure. splash, but apparently he can. Hulk would splash, what do you mean? It's a Hulk splash. Hulk man. splash, when Hulk makes a close attack, if he occupies the listed terrain after resolutions, he may use one corresponding effect as free hindering, smoke cloud, elevated, move, water, pulse wave. And I like how you can just have pulse wave because it gives you the range of four now. Mm -hmm. So Hulk, Hulk pulse wave. Get the tidal wave and just smacking you with, uh, yeah, by jumping in. It's pretty cool. So, um, I I love these play at home kits. These provide a tremendous value for your dollar. Um, so yeah, for twenty dollars, I mean you're getting. Cool figures, maps that you really need, terrain that you really need, right? Legacy cards. I, I mean, yeah. Um, you can't beat it. Oh, here they are. The uh, card pack mm -hmm. had fallen out. Um. So. This one has the, uh, this map comes with the shield holding facility indoor. And then uh, again, on the other side, Avengers Tower. Um, the shield holding facility is a great indoor map. Pretty strategic. Um, I do like this map. The release day kit is the one that comes with the Ultron layer, right? That's correct. And, yeah. the, and the Hawkeye. Yeah. So the release day kit Super important to go play at your store for the release day kit. Ultron Layer is another great map. Uh, so in this kit, the Captain America kit. Also has another great piece of effect terrain. Yeah, it, it, so let me pull it out. So it comes with the steel mesh fencing. So... Characters in this square's terrain can use energy shield deflection. So two characters get plus two defense from range, and then they're in hindering terrain. So if you don't ignore hindering, they have plus three defense from range for zero points. Yeah. And it's super insanely good. You can't go wrong with free ESD. Um, now, I think the only thing in this kit is that there was not an auxiliary piece of terrain that I really liked. Um, it comes with your standard hindering and a standard two by two elevated, uh, but that's okay. You get a free standard power mm -hmm. on two of your characters. Um, what do you think about this? And I mean, yeah, and you get objects with this one too, more of them than you do in the other ones. Um, so I think there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and you're getting maybe the best legacy card out of the three of them here. Right. I think along with this one as well. So Jason, I wasn't around when the shield throwing cap was, was new. Uh, we talked about how you liked him on the uh, set review. Mm -hmm. What do you, uh, what do you think of the legacy card? Oh, I think he's great. Did I you play, it. did you play the original figure a lot? Oh, yeah, I played him a lot back in that time. Yeah. Does yeah. the legacy card live up to the legacy? I mean, he might be better than that one, to be honest. Right. Yeah. I mean, I really dig what he's doing here. 50 points. Uh, he can hit like a brick. I, you know, Really like it, you know. And uh, the the play home kit figure itself is not bad. It's got a great leadership ability. Uh, you're either healing or taking an extra token off along with your leadership, and you're moving a token. I mean, right? Uh, yeah, just they're just both really good figures, right? For your Avengers teams, or so three great legacy cards, three great play at home kit figures. Three great terrains, two great auxiliary figures, and I think well worth your value um, when it comes to this whole kit. So, yeah, heart shaped herb, and 
pool of lava. And steel mesh fencing. And the steel mesh fencing. I mean, I like hope we see more of these in the future. Yeah, I think it's really great. Super, super great value for your money when it comes to these kits. And three really great maps. Um, hit up your friendly local game store now. These kits are out and set is out. Uh, go check them out right now. Thanks everybody for watching this unboxing video. And thanks to WizKids for sending us this stuff to unbox and review for y'all. Have a great day.